What's up everyone? Welcome to your sixth Photoshop project. And in this project I'm going to be teaching you guys how to take an ordinary image such as this one and make it like a spooky ghost image. And this is what people do a lot of the time when they're trying to make a fake picture of a ghost and just to put on the internet, get a lot of views. So uh, I just wanted to show you guys that a lot of these images aren't real and by a lot of them I mean all of them and uh, here's what they do to create images like that first they take a normal image like I have right here here's uh, two of my friends just at a party uh, they probably get a better image of this like a small child or someone creepy like that and uh, the first thing they do is go ahead and turn it into a black and white image since uh, you know ghosts aren't very colorful so to do this the easiest way is to hold down your control and shift key and press the U capital U or lowercase u whatever so hold down control shift and press U on your keyboard uh, the next thing you're gonna wanna do once you have this black and white layer is go ahead and copy it now you can do that by dragging it down or right clicking in it and pressing copy or uh, duplicate I mean so from now on we're gonna be working with our layer one copy and make sure you don't get rid of this original layer because we're going to be using it later so make sure you're on your layer one copy and we're going to be adding a motion blur to this so on your layer one go up to filter blur and from here we want to go to motion blur which is right down here now as you can see in your preview right here you want it to be kind of you want to be able to know what's going on around it but at the same time you want it blurry enough to uh... see that you can't see the original image so go around i set mine to 188 you can set yours anywhere to 150 from 250 i think those look the best now go ahead and press ok and as you can see your copy of your layer is blurred but your original layer right here is the same now the next thing we want to do is show parts of this layer which is the same through the layer one copy so to do this go ahead and make sure your layer one copy is selected and go ahead and click this button right here what this is going to do is add a layer mask let me get rid of this and what a layer mask is is it it allows you to take away parts of this layer to see through to this layer so make sure your mask is selected and go ahead over to this paintbrush right here now once you have your paintbrush anything you paint on your mask that's black it takes away from the image so make sure you have black is your foreground have your brush and make sure your brush isn't hard like one of these make sure it's faded like one of these and now we can go ahead and start painting now what I'm gonna do before we even start is go ahead and turn my opacity way down to about nine or ten and now we just want to paint so we see a little bit of his face through the uh... smoke and this is how people can uh... take pictures and say oh, i took a picture of it was all blurry but i saw this ghost through the smoke so now once we can tell that there's a face there another thing that i like to do is uh make my mask even smaller my brush size I mean and go over and paint over the eyes since I like to see his face kind of but I really like to see those eyes since uh they kinda give that spooky the eyes are focused in and looking at you kind of effect so now that let me just minimize this so I can show you guys what it looks like we have a blurred image with a faint face in the looker in the background with the eye sticking out so now it's uh, getting kinda spooky and a little more believable like uh... right now it's like oh i tried to take this camera but i was kinda moving around but all i saw was his face kinda looking at me so that's how people do that and uh... once you're there another thing that you can add is filter with a diffuse glow so go up to filter and go down to glow where are you Uh, let me find where it is. 
Filter. Here we go. Distort. Diffuse glow. Oops. Make sure you're on your image, not your mask. So filter. Distort. Diffuse glow. And you can adjust the graininess right here. I want to leave mine right about four. I want to give mine a little bit of glow. And this pretty much just brings out the highlights. And let's just uh, fade that just a tidbit right there. So I got five, four, and 16. And what this does is just bring out the highlights and uh, give that eerie, um, shiny looking effect. Now, once we have this, the last thing that's optional that we can do is add a kind of a green mist over it. Now to do this, go down here and select new fill layer and click solid color. Now you see I have yellow. I want to go down to green and get kind of a medium, not too dark, not too light. So you have a green right ahead of all your layers right here on the very topmost layer. And what you're going to want to do is set your opacity down to about, I say 20. And now, once you have that, you're finally complete. So this this uh, green layer right here, this is what some people add when they say that they tried to take a picture of a ghost using night vision or something like that. Or they're at a swamp or something and it was all green and misty. So now you have a spooky image with green and you can see his face and his eyes showing through the background so that my friends is how people make fake ghost images to put online or uh... just when they're trying to get a bunch of views or trying to stir up a bunch of con controversy or something like that so i just wanted to show you guys how to do it let all you guys sleep easy let you know that they aren't real it's easy to do so i hope you guys learned something and remember if you like my tutorials make sure to subscribe and thanks for watching.